Today is graduation Sunday. Um, we get to honor two of our graduates. So I'll have them come up here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just sort of interview them. Uh, it makes it easier for those that are a little bit nervous about being up here. All right. For those of you that don't know, I'm sure most of you do, this is Ryan Tibbetts. He graduated our program this year. And uh, Ryan, what are you going to do after graduation, after you're done here? What's your plans for the future? I'm going to still work and uh, make money. <laughs> <laughs> that's a smart young man, isn't it? Work and make money. That's, that's what he's about. Ryan is one of the hardest working kids. You know, if, if I ever need a volunteer in the youth group, I can point to him and he takes off running. I don't ever... Some kids will moan and groan. They'll do it. They'll moan and groan. Ryan will take off running. He'll be the first one to get it done. So I appreciate that about him. Um, what's a memory from youth group that you have? Good or bad? <laughs> Hopefully good. <laughs> um, seeing, looking around the youth room and seeing all my friends just happy. None of them are fighting or yelling at each other. Just having a fun time. That's neat to see, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. I'm going to give Ryan a Bible here. This is from the church, Ryan. Let me make sure I got the right one. This is anxious. <laughs> All right, there you go, bud. Thanks for being part of the youth group, man. It's been a pleasure. All right, and over here, maybe we can reach. We have Angel Buffo. She's also graduated our program this year. And... Uh, Here's something about Angel. Angel has always been a spitfire. From the day I from the very first moment I met her, she has always been, you know, you know Kevin, this, you know, have you ever done this? Have you ever you know, Kevin, have you ever she is always full of ideas, passion, the passion just oozes out of her in a good way, not in a gross, creepy way at all. So, Angel, what are your plans for the future? Um, this fall, I'm transferring to the University of Northwestern down in St. Paul to major in marketing with a minor in graphic design. And then also this summer, I'll be working at Trout, as Pastor Chris mentioned. That, that brings up another memory of an angel. The first time she went and worked at Trout Lake Camp, she came back on fire. So if any of you... On fire for Christ, not literally burning or anything. It's a safe camp. But if any of you have ever considered working at Trout Lake Camp, this is a girl to talk to. Talk to the Lanes, um, Swansons, those that have volunteered there. Um, it's a great place to work. She came back absolutely on fire. She was a different person when she came back. She really was. So, uh, Angel, thank you so much for being part of the youth group. It's been a pleasure. It's a sad day for me. Uh, but I just want to take a second here and thank Pam and Jim and Monty and Cheryl for uh, letting us be part of this. It's an honor. And uh, we're blessed. And thank you for letting us share the highs and lows of their lives. Um, we're better for it. We really are. And uh, I don't know, I just can't thank you enough, both of you, for allowing us to be a, a little part of watching these two grow up. So thank you very much. Um, I'm going to give... Do you want the mic? Sure. I'm going to give the mic to uh, artists here, and sh the women of the church have a, another gift for these two graduates. I'll go over by Angel <coughs> The women's ministry is very supportive of our graduates, and we have lots of fun making these quilts. Now, if Ryan will hold this mic, I'll show you Angel's quilt. She liked the burgundy and the gray. Thank you. Angel was my prayer pal for many years. This quilt is for Ryan, and maybe you can hold this one if you do. We, the church, the ladies thought this kind of looked Ukrainian. <laughs> and that is your heritage. We want to present this to you from the church. 